blows up, man. Wow. Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, I'm so excited to bring to you today a, uh, what we're going to call the Mental Health Showcase. And uh, our goal and our objective is to uh, try to challenge the stigma around mental health. And what we know, uh, as we bring Zama mental health professionals, uh, uh, caretakers uh, to the stage, we are trying to put it out there. Well, what I know more than anything is that um, about 80% of the battle with mental health as a mental health professional myself is finding the right fit. And so today we want to just present to you Zama, Zama's mental health community, and I think each of us are part of Zama's mental health community uh, because it may not be one of us, but it may be you. And so I would just like to encourage you to um, be that person um, and get the help you need if you need to get that help. But again, we don't know where that help is going to come from. And oftentimes it comes in mysterious ways and mysterious places. But we just, have, we just want people to be open to it. And it's not that you're broken, it's not that you're vulnerable. But it's just one of those things where, you know, when that day comes, um, we would love you to get ahead of it. Um, and it, it might be that trusted friend. Uh, it may be that pastor. It may be uh, whatever it might be. Uh, again, it may be a supervisor. But in that moment of weakness or that moment of vulnerability, we ask you to reach out. Because uh, we typically know when it's going to happen. And if we don't really get on early enough, uh, it becomes a problem. And those are problems that create the stigma around mental health. Because a lot of times the agencies that see today are agencies that are dealing with people who are having problems. But what we, what we want to encourage you to do is get out and get ahead of it um, and do what you need to do. Uh, myself as a mental health professional, I have a counselor and I am uh, so open to say that I check in with my counselor whenever I need to. Uh, again, it's not, it doesn't mean I'm vulnerable, it doesn't mean I'm weak. Uh, it just means that when I need to kind of get some things off of me that I can't quite process myself. We thank you. We hope you enjoy. And uh, yeah, it's not, this is a little different, but uh, we're doing our thing. We're going to help them this time. Cool. So uh, my name is John West. I'm with the Behavioral Health Team and just wanted to share some music. Sort of, I think that sort of goes with this um, vibe for Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, sort of about just uh, keeping on when times are a little hard. And I think we can all relate to that, maybe. You say it's over Didn't have what it takes Cause you're just making mistakes But you should think it over Rome wasn't built in a day This that's what they say So throw a quarter to the crew around the corner Swap the pull the vibes alone And see if maybe we Can see beyond the you and I of it Oh, 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 yeah Of it, oh, oh, oh Of it, oh, oh There's broken jeans are still jeans And wasted time ain't a waste of time Old pennies can still shine But you can't see the stars in Hollywood A million no's could become a yes And you got a chance, don't you second guess it Do what you love and do the best Maybe you can see the stars in Hollywood So Hollywood, you Hollywood Hollywood, would you hold my hand? Yeah, Hollywood, would you? Hollywood, yeah. Don't think you're alone. Cause when you're struggling, that's when you know you're headed home. Just do what you love. Use the stars below your feet and the ones above. Yeah. Just throw a quarter to the crew around the corner Swap the pull the vibes and on and see if maybe we Can see beyond the you and I of it Oh, 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 yeah Of it, oh, 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 yeah Mmm, 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 na, 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 na Jeans and 
Sarah, is it Sarah? I, did I did I just call the bar? Y'all, what time y'all closing? Girl, look, it's me. It's your Friday special, girl. Yeah, I need I need three more drinks. Make it with two more shots. Yeah. Br also, bring me another. Uh, bring 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 one of them tequila with the salt on there. Okay. Yeah. And some fries. All right. Uh -oh. Where you been? You know what time it is? Who you been on the phone with? Don't come with this today. Look, look let, let me tell you something. You been drinking, huh? It's just been, it's just a little bit. It's little bit? A... Look at you, you wobbling. I ain't too wobbly. I'm not that wobbly. Look, you know all these problems we've been having, and I'm trying to get off the bottle, and here you is coming home all hours of the night, and now you trying to order some more drink? Why are you trying what's to going blow on? my vibe? We need vibe. to do this as a team. You know what's going on with us. Why are you trying to blow my vibe, baby? It's just a drink. Baby, you know my problems I've had with this drink. I don't need to be around it. Look, you you need to stop. It's just a drink. It's not hard. We, you right. All these problems we get, I'm talking about, yes, the DUI, the debt we get as well, the star card, you raising everything up. Can I just drink and, and relax? How is that something to celebrate? I'm not I trying to celebrate. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, what am I just? I'm just trying to. You can't get your words out. <clears throat> take, take a drink with me. I don't need no more drink. Woo, that hit hard. Baby, that hit hard. They gotta take it. No, take no, look, 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 look. Smell I can get you some water. Smell it. Just, just you, smell you it. You know I can't do this. They no come more. in with three more tequila shots. As much as we used to drink each other under the table. Yeah, we got to leave that in the past. No, we ain't got to leave nothing in the past with all this stuff we going through now. Three more drinks. I'm gonna make three more drinks. Come on, just just it bring back memories, don't yeah. it? It bring back some good old memories. I know it do. I know oh, it bring back memories. You can't go down that. Take a shot anymore. with me. That's what we're gonna do. Matter of fact, go ahead and tap it up. Bottoms up. Hit the bottom. Do bottom. What we're we gonna do it one more time. Just one, one more last time. One last time. Okay. Okay. Hit the bottom. Okay. We're gonna pair the shots. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, okay. Go ahead in the kitchen, go make us some sun. All right. Can I can I call for two more shots? I'm gonna call for two double shots. And I'll be two in the back. Shots. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Okay, go make them. Go make them. Okay. Go make them. Hey, Val. I need you to come get me. I'm about to fall off the wagon. Babe! Uh, these, these shots ready. And 
the endurance she put into your body through the sweat and the breaking the sweat, um, all these different types of um, mobility movements that helps improve your, your mental health through exercise. So those are some ways to relieve the stress that you may be feeling or um, the emotional um, weakness that may be impacting you. Another way, um, improving your mental health to improve your work performance, um, the ways you interact with others. And according to a survey conducted by the World Health Organization, shows that over 2 million work days are lost each year due to individuals coming off due to depression. And um, about five, of, five out of 10 of those are the causes, show the leading causes of a disability related to mental health. So having a healthy mind improves productivity, performance, and it is consistent with the good work performance. So that's another area that shows the um, importance of having, of how, the importance of having good mental health um, and also how it can be impacted. And having a good mental health improves the quality of life. Um, stress is inevitable, but we must learn how to manage our stress. If we lose control, if we lose control of how we interact, can turn into a chronic stress and ultimately contribute to migraines, fatigue, a muscle tension, and even worse, a heart attack. So managing stress and managing a good health can lead to being able to handle the ups and downs that life can bring. Lastly, I want you to remember that caring for your mind is just as important as caring for your health. It's caring for your body. Just like learning, is a form of taking care of your body, ways of taking care of your mental health, would be writing in a journal, seeing your local mental health professional, um, and just simply talking to a friend, not holding that, that information, not holding those, those emotions in and suppressing them um, can further eat at how, you're, how it's impacting you. So letting those things out and speaking to someone who can ultimately help you lead you in a better direction. So with that in mind, do not let your mental struggles define what's in store for your future. Thank you. Alright, there's a song called Keep It Together. <laughs>
you're my family Maybe that is by far May you let's stand so tall Every Friday Let's, let's keep it together uh, uh, Let's keep it together Hello, my name is Tisha Miller. I'm the Adolescent Support and Counseling Services Counselor at Zion Middle High School. I was asked today to talk about what is mental health. Mental health is overall health. It's everything that we need to walk through our day and smile at someone and really smile from the inside. Um, I was asked to kind of talk about a success story. So I have success stories on both sides. Um, I myself disclosing, I've been, um, I've had my own counseling and it's helped me to be a, a good therapist to others and families and children. I, at the high school, I often see kids that are dealing with lots of things, whether it's stress um, from family or stress from school, stress from being a teenager. Oftentimes I find that the children are the canary in the coal mine, meaning the child is acting out because of there's other things that are going on in their environment, whether it's home, whether it's school, um, it could be a number of things. Um, one child in particular that I worked with was having difficulty with their grades, and it seemed just like, oh, this kid just needs to bring their grades up. When I started talking to the child, it became really obvious that this kid was really stressed out by things that were happening at home, between dad coming back from deployment, from mom also working full time, and feeling the responsibility of needing to step up in the family. Um, what this also brought is it gave the kids courage to come in to talk to me, gave the family courage to also say, hey, maybe there's other things going on in this family and we can get support. Um, I think oftentimes people see being vulnerable as a weakness and I feel like I know, because I've been on both sides, it takes way more strength and courage to come in and talk to someone and be vulnerable. So I want to encourage you to tap into your strength. And if there's someone that you want to talk to, there's someone at the schools, there's someone at ACS, there's MFLAX, there's people all over that are willing to help you. So get the support you need. And if you can be a support to someone else, do that. I am finished with a report. Um, I've done the S1 report, the commander's report, and everything that you asked me to do today. Um, it's starting to get late and dark outside, so um, and I'm crunching on time, so I would like to go. Is there anything else you need for me to do? Um, yes. How's your promotion? That's pretty good. Um, yes. Um, I have a question. Can yeah. you grab that binder that's right there on the floor that I left there? Oh, sure. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Thank um, you. Anything else? Because I really have to go. Yes, yes. Just one more question. How are you doing, Kiki? I'm doing very well. Um, is This is going to be a long conversation, apparently. Um, oh, I definitely see you're doing quite well. Oh, well, okay. Let's so, see. as far as with your celebrating, what are you going to celebrate? Um, I'm not going to celebrate. I'm trying to make it home so that I can go and relax. I'm not going to celebrate. No, 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 no. We have to celebrate. Come on, give me a big old hug. A hug? Yes. Are you serious? Um, you know that is um, inappropriate and that's a sexual harassment case. Are you serious? Yes. I'm sexually harassing you. No, no, no. Okay, what you need to do from now on is when you come into my office, I need you to come with somebody else. Go ahead and leave. 
I'm still reporting you, but yes, you have a good day now. I am Rebecca Blake, and I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I want to talk to you about um, seeking behavior help as a therapist and how difficult that can be. So um, I've served in the Army for over 22 years, and um, my time in the Army, especially once I became a behavior help um, therapist, was very difficult because seeing patients and listening to their problems while also trying to deal with your own can be challenging. So I wanna encourage you that if you are in need of behavioral health care, just like Mrs. Black said, your mental health is just as important as your physical health. And if you don't seek the treatment that you need, then your family, those you love, all of those who are around you won't be benefited by all that you have to offer. And so, thankfully, I gained the courage to seek behavior health care for myself because I needed it. And I was afraid to say that I did it because I was an active duty service member, an officer seeing patients, and I did not want people to think that I was incapable of doing my job, but I was, and I needed help, and I didn't seek it. And once I retired and came to Japan, 20-something days later, I decided that I needed behavior health care myself, even as a clinical social worker, even as a therapist who was, who was seeing patients every day. And so, I know it can be challenging. I know that seeking care for mental health can be hard. But just know, there are people willing and ready to assist you. So come on in.
Timmy? Where is he? Where's Johnny? I, I don't know. It's 5.30 I, I, p.m. I know it's 5.30. I'm looking at my, my watch right now. Where is he? He might, he might be. Look at me he, in the eyes. He, when might, I to you. he might be at practice still. Don't give me excuses. I'm, I'm tired of 13 excuses. year old. That's probably where he is. He skipped school again. You think that's all right? I, I'm tired I, of no, this. No, it's not okay. And I'm worried too. I mean, I talked to my supervisor be, the other day. supposed to be here. He told me, sorry. if I don't know how to manage my 13 year old phone, I'm going to start up promotion. I know. I I'm know, tired of that. And, but you do, and you do you deserve. Talk to me like a you do deserve. Shut up! Don't talk to me like that. Okay, I'm when gonna, I say I'm going to beat him up for two hours, he's, yeah, he he's playing again. He he's school, I mean, and he's going to beat him up. He's going to regret that. Shut up and look at me in the eyes. Only one hour drive. I'm tired of this. 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 And I'm gonna see him. I'm gonna beat him up for two hours. He's going to regret saying me like this. No, oh, and this is a warning for you. you don't this is a warning. Don't get involved, or you're gonna get something like this. You don't copy? I'm out of here. Johnny! Johnny! Hello? I beg to be quoted in this silence. Hello, my name is Shannon Hutchinson. I'm the, I work over at ASAP as the prevention coordinator, suicide prevention manager, and EAP specialist. Um, I'm here to tell you um, about illness and a different kind of illness. So if I have a cold, if I break a leg, if I have an illness, I'll go to a doctor or I'll take medicine or do what I have to do to get better. But mental health is just the same thing. If we need healing, if we need support, if we need to talk to somebody, get help. Take care of your mental health just as much as you would your physical health. It's important. If we're on the airplane, they tell us to put our mask on before putting the mask on someone else. And with mental health, it's hard to take care of everybody else around you unless you're working on taking care of yourself. It is normal to have ups and downs. In fact, everybody has them. Everybody. We all have some point in time where we're depressed or we're going through something or we're having a really rough time. And that's normal. And it's okay to reach out and talk to somebody and get that support. Honestly, even counselors talk to counselors. I want you to know that it's okay not to be okay as long as you're getting help. And if at any point in time you feel as though you are at risk, if you're considering suicide, there are people who care. I care. We want you to get help. You're not alone. And there are people who are there to support. Talk to someone. No, no, you're not helping. I'm done with the 
conversation. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm leaving. Well, Princess. What? There's somebody we can call. There's somebody we can call. Who? Can help. Who? Who can help? Who can we call? I'm Steve Harmon, health promotion tech at the Army Wellness Center here on Camp Summer. When I'm tired, short on sleep, I'm just way better at dealing with people. I'm so considerate, patient, and understanding. When I'm exhausted, said no one, said no one, never. Approaching this from a performance triad standpoint, a foundational thing that we can do to help our mental health, and maybe the mental health of the people who have to deal with us, is just to get enough sleep. When we're tired and cranky, we just don't see as many options. We make worse decisions, say or do things that we might regret, and we tend to be a lot worse at dealing with challenging or upsetting situations. A physical thing that we can do to help our mental state is occasionally just to take a couple of minutes to focus on our breathing, slow it down, use it as a tool to help us to relax. If you're feeling stressed or anxious, just take a minute. Try and slow your breathing down. Take a deep breath while counting slowly. Hold it in for a couple of seconds. And then breathe out slowly while counting. That can be a great tool to get your body and your mind to just calm down a bit. Chronic stress, it can adversely affect your physical and cognitive behavior. As a society, we need to reframe how we view stress and the stigma around mental health care. Stress can be good if, you, if it motivates you to action, but chronic distress, that can have some implications on your health. Most of us know that we need to train and exercise to stay in good health, but we especially train when we anticipate a big event, like CFT or a half marathon. If we don't exercise and train in advance of those big events, our bodies just won't be able to, they won't be prepared to handle the load. And the same thing goes for stress management. Practicing stress management helps to induce the relaxation response in order to recover from that flight or flight, fight or flight response which can cause sensations like rapid breathing, rapid heart rate, increased blood pressure. Chronic stress can also negatively impact our weight, our dietary habits, and our sleep. Simple techniques like diaphragmatic breathing can elicit the relaxation response and can slow down your heart rate, your breathing, your blood pressure, just to name a few of the benefits. By practicing stress management daily, you can improve your body's ability to react to stress. Some tips for managing stress would be to rest and recover. Try and get that seven to nine hours of sleep that your body needs. Stay active. Make sure you get adequate activity and exercise. Eat well. Eat minimally processed, nutrition-dense foods when possible. And learn some of the stress management activities through individual training at the uh, Army Wellness Center.